Welcome back, Quad Pack, to another Godot video. Today we will be going over um, top-down movement like we did on Monday, but instead we'll be using using the visual script this time. Um, I pulled up the same file that I had, so everything is set up the exact same. I just removed the script, and I'm going to add a new script, and I'm going to change the language to visual uh, script. Anyway, it'll bring up this. Um, you don't have anything there yet because you don't have a node. So, the first thing we're going to do is click on this little functions icon, and we want a process node. And now it gives us a grid, it has the process node, and we can do this one of two ways. Um, let me find an image real quick. Okay, so when I was going through this, I shared this image, and this is one way to do it. It's quite messy for how little we're getting done, it's just up, down, left, right movement. So, instead of going through this, I will show you a cleaner way to get all of this done. So, first things first, let's add our new variables. We only have two, so let's just go ahead and add those. The first one will be our um, new direction. New direction. And then the second is our speed variable. And then we're going to right click on these and edit variable. Um, for the new direction variable, it needs to be changed to a vector 2. And we're going to change the value to 0, 0. And we want to export this because we'll have to be using it for our player. For our speed, whoops, going to edit. And I think we had set it to like 200 last time. So let's just change this variant, variant to float and change it to 200. And we don't need to export that. Now, rather than dragging and dropping nodes in our process function right here, we're going to add four more functions. And we're going to name them up, down, left, right. So, up, down, left, right. And let's start with our up function. Um, these sub functions are going to be composed of three nodes plus the function node, so four. First thing we're going to need is an action node. And this is how we're going to tell the software what buttons we need. So over here, you see in the inspector, it brings up to uh, options under the visual script input action. The first one is the action that we want. So um, we're going to we're going to be using the pre-made, prefabricated action. So up button. Um, like I said, you can go to project uh, project settings over to the input map and change those if you so please. Um, I know I'm currently trying to get this working, uh, the visual script working for 3D with jump, and I made a new action called jump because there wasn't one. Um, we're going to drag this line out and release, and we're going to get a new condition. Now, all visual scripting is is just connecting lines, basically, and it goes through a pattern. Let me pull up that image real quick. So, as, as you can see, it starts with the process function over here, and it goes up to our new direction. From our new direction, it reads the if statement. So, if the left button is pressed, it will move it. Um, if it's not pressed, then it will move on since there is no false condition, and it will repeat that for all four buttons. And then down here, we do a little bit of math to get our uh, new position moved. So, now we need to drag in the new direction, which will be under here. There we go. So you'll click on the player. It's script variable, new direction. We're going to leave that blank for now. Um, we're going to connect the true to new direction, and we want to change this. So select the um, variable node, and we want to change this from assign to subtract. And since this is the up button, we're subtracting on the y-axis so we can actually move up. We're going to change this variable to 1. And that's it for this um, up function. I typically try to keep my conditions tidy, kind of like this. 
And we're just going to repeat that four more times for, or sorry, three more times for down, right, and left. Now this is going to clean up the code quite a bit. So in our process function, we're just going to drag and drop those in. Um, I'm going to do it in the same order that we did in the GD script. So uh, left, right, up, down. Left, right, up, down. And we're going to connect the um, white to the white. These are color coded. Um, as you can see, that this is blue. This one's green. Um, they have different things. Uh, green is vector two. This blue is a float. Um, I know for vector three, it's purple. And you'll see that a lot during visual scripting. And it won't let you connect things that aren't supposed to connect. So I can't connect this float to this input or the call self. So let's just go ahead and connect these in a line. I'm going to put them right on each other since I don't need anything in between those. Now, um, if you remember, we have some multiplication in order to get the uh, new location. So, we have a handy little multiply at node over here that you can search for, and we're going to need two of those. Because you can, excuse me. As you can see, there's only two inputs and we have three things that we are multiplying. So the first thing we're going to take, we're going to take the delta and we're going to multiply by the speed which is over here in our variables. We can just drag and drop that and then we're going to take that we're going to multiply that by the location but if you remember we had to normalize the location. And this this little available nodes feature, search feature, is amazing if you already know what you're doing or if you have an idea of what nodes you need. So, like, I can search normalize, and it's going to give me a lot of options, but I know that I'm working with the 2D vector and I need to normalize something. And for the... As you can see, these, these are purple, uh, blue, green, like I was saying earlier. In order to get the new direction... Oh, I actually... I actually forgot something. Gonna move this over and disconnect this. I forgot we have to reset the direction to zero zero. So let's move this in here. Get it all hooked up. So if you remember before we started putting our inputs, we had the uh, bare new direction equals vector two zero zero line. There we go. Move this down and over like that, and we're going to leave that right there. Um, in order to get that new direction and normalize it, we're going to bring in the direction from the player. So we're going to click on the player. We're going to hold control and drag and drop this uh, new direction in. And that that is uh, called a getter, as you can see down here. Hold shift. Oh. There we go. Hold control to get a getter. Hold shift to drop a generic uh, signature. I have no idea what that is. I grabbed something different. Anyway, click the player. Hold control, and we want to get that variable. That's. So we're going to plug that into our vector two, and then we're going to plug our vector two into this other multiply node. And I'm just going to kind of shift this over to the side. There we go. Okay, now, the last thing we need is that move and collide command. So, we're going to grab our player and drag it into its screen, and it's going to bring up a search engine. We're going to search for move and collide. And then we're just going to attach the two inputs. The variant is... um. This is going to give all the information from that multiply line down at the bottom of our code that we had. Um, if you remember, it was vector 2, and then it grabbed the vector, and the move and collide. And that's it. Um, if we run the game, it'll have the... Oops, I never saved that, so let's... Okay, I don't know what happened, guys. Okay, that was just randomly crashed. I probably need to update my computer honestly. But I got everything back. 
exactly like I had it. Now, there we go. Moves exactly the same. I th think I actually changed my speed function a little bit. Yeah. It sets to 300 now. But everything else is the same. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Down is the same. I just connected them really quick because... Excuse me. I was also put in new direction. Um, just connected them really quick. Trying to get this. Didn't need that. Don't know. But yeah, everything's connected the same. You got the input. You got the if statement. You have the new direction. Process function, everything is the same. Um, from your process, you connect to the new direction to reset it. And then you go through your left, right, up, down. Um, you multiply the delta by the speed. You normalize the new direction and multiply that from the by the other multiply node which essentially multiplies delta speed and direction and then you go on and plug all that into the move and collide um... hopefully i can get this working in 3d um, i have the movement working in 3d i'm just caught up on the jump due to adding velocity as well in there having so many things that you have to multiply um... So hopefully that'll be next week's tutorial, um, doing this in 3D. I'll see you guys then.